Hey boys and girls, we're back here on this 1835 build. So, what we're doing here today is we're going to open up the chambers. I've already done this one and this one over here. I've marked how far I've got to go. I've already started a little and I figured might as well uh, show you guys how much we got to take out. So, the reason we're doing this is this gentleman's motor is basically it's a st stock motor. It's just going to be larger displacement. So it has a stock camshaft, stock rocker arm, stock carburetor on it. Everything stock except for displacement. And these heads have 52 cc chambers as cast, which would probably be okay with a stock engine. But um, with the 92 cylinder thick wall 92s on it, that puts the compression way too high. And he doesn't ever want to change from the stock carburetor. He wants basically a stock motor. Just this is how the route we're going because that's the parts he already had. So it's led us to the build another thick wall 1835. Anyways, to get the compression down, there's three ways you could do it. You could do it the way the gentleman that assembled this motor, or the past motor, I guess I should say, for him did. And you could just start stacking shims. And they had a hundred and forty-five thousandths deck height to get the compression down. And the problem with that is the combustion was not happening in the chamber all the way anymore. The combustion was happening in the cylinder. And you could see that the cylinder was getting hot. The piston was rattling in there. You could see that the um, oil control rings were just bleeding carbon through it, which the, the um, ring pack was just all destroyed as far as tension and how it was wearing. But you could see the piston was rattling at top, dead center. And it's because it was not happening at the center here. It was happening everywhere else. So anyways, that's one way you could do it. Um, I'd suggest you find a different way. The next thing you could do is you could do the semi-hemi cut. Where they put the cutter in here and it really takes a lot of area out here and here. It comes all the way down to the spark plug normally. And that would lower your compression too. Um, the problem with that is nobody in my area that I know of does it. And the second problem with that is the advanced curve. You'd have to have run more advanced and stuff. And we're trying to build basically what would be a stock motor for him again. So I don't want him to have a custom advanced or have to run higher advanced than stock. It just needs to be stock. So that comes up with the third way. What you can do is you can open the chamber up. And that's what we're doing here. Um, we're not trying to gain power by doing this. Um, it probably will flow better, but we're not going for that. We're just going for CCs. We're just trying to go out farther. And unfortunately, you can't really keep the stock shape chamber. You got to come way over here on the exhaust and stuff. But do your little homework. Look at other heads. You know, some of those um, stock ported valved heads. There's pictures on the internet. You can look at the chambers and copy and mimic that. So that's what we're doing here. We're aiming for 60 cc's, which with a uh, 60,000 deck height should get it to like a seven and a half to one compression. And once again, the reason for such a low compression is it has a stock cam in it and a stock 34 pick carburetor on it. And he says he's never going to put carburetors, dual carbs on it because he just doesn't want to mess with that. And that's totally understandable. So... You know, we're going to put it back as stock as possible. The reason it's going back thick wall 1835 is because he bought these heads before we found the damage in the lower end. If he wouldn't have bought these heads and milled them for that, then we'd probably just build a stock 1600 for them <clears throat> and just go around that down that hole. But this is what he had, so we built, we're building it back in thick wall 1835 because there's nothing. You know, we could probably have them remachine, but it's not worth doing all the machine work when he already has the parts for that. So anyways, that's what we're doing here. Um, I might go through and just because the valve is out, just take a flapper wheel and run on the lip. These auto linear heads are not that bad. What's always amazing to me is for the last 25 plus years is the, the ports never lined up. You can see... They have that mill. They've been that way since I got in the Volkswagen. So I just, that blow always baffles my mind that <laughs> they've never got that right. But uh, as far as everything else, these look like pretty decent heads. They actually have all the cooling passages are 
open and stuff in there. I know I can't see because we're not facing the light. But they're actually open. I have not done any work to them. So. Anyways, boys and girls. Get out there, get your projects done. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to get back to work on this project.